All right, folks, I got the big log over here. Um, I got it rigged. I got two anchors on either side, and I got a chain between them, another chain, two chains hooked into the tractor. So, uh, yeah, my logging chains are about 10 foot each. So, that's a pretty good span. That's a big log. Let me walk over there and give you some perspective. This is uh, the size of log I'm dealing with. You can see the banks are pretty high. They're almost as high as me. I'd say a good four and a half, five feet high. I'm six foot almost, 5'11". So, stick around. I'm gonna jump up there on the tractor. I might have to move my ballast to the front bucket. We'll see, I got it on the back right now. And uh, you know, if I start doing wheelies, I'll go put that ballast in the front. Okay, stick around.
I don't know if you could see the sun's getting low or if you could tell, but the sun is getting low. I'm so glad I got that big log out. Now I got these two smaller logs back here and they're a lot more manageable. They're more like the size that I pulled out in the first video or the last, ah, uh, whatever video it was. Uh, so anyhow, uh, when I get tired, of course, the brain doesn't function as well. I'm pretty exhausted climbing up and down that bank. When you're a young man, you can go up and down that bank like it's nothing. But when you get older and you put a couple of pounds on, them banks get big. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm glad to have the big log out. And uh, I got the saw. I saved it, kept it from getting rolled over. That would have sucked that I had to buy a new bar. Uh, would have been a good excuse to buy a 24 inch one. Give that a try. But I'd have probably just messed that one up too. So, well, folks, enjoy the journey. Till next time, cheers. Shut down. Stop recording.